Hey guys, even here, and in this video I wanted to talk about who is going to actually win the 2019 Mr. Olympia. And I pretty much summed it down to Rolly Winkler versus Brandon Curry. So at this point, we already know that Phil Heath is out of the Mr. Olympia 100%. We also know that Sean Roden is not gonna show up. And the same thing goes with Big Ramy. So who we do know that's gonna show up is Brandon Curry, Rolly Winkler, William Bonek, Cedric McMillan, Dexter Jackson, and that's gonna round up your top five. So that's the most successful bodybuilders so far. And they're probably gonna make your top five unless somebody else makes a leap, somebody else makes a surprise. For example, that can be Luke Sando, that can be Steve Kuklo, maybe Juan Morel, and so on, but in all likeliness, the way it was this year based on their previous performances, it's probably gonna be Brandon Curry, Rolly Winkler, William Bonek, Dexter Jackson, and Cedric McMillan. But based on their previous performances, I think it's pretty safe to say that Dexter Jackson is not gonna win the show. I don't think it's gonna happen. Not likely. It could happen. It would be a really amazing thing to happen. But I don't think he has the package for it. I don't think he's that good. He maybe once was, but uh, right now I think some guys are much better than him. And I think that's William Bonac, Brandon Curry and Rolly Winkler. I don't know about Cedric though. If Cedric comes sharp, like super sharp, he can maybe take Dexter down, maybe even Bonac. As far as Rolly and Brandon, I don't think that's gonna happen. This is Mr. Olympia we're talking about. And this year, the door is wide open. It's wide open. And these top guys are well aware of that. And they're gonna try their very best to take that Sando home. They're all gonna give it their maximum effort. I'm pretty sure about that. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that all of these guys are gonna be in shape. It's not gonna be about the conditioning. It's gonna be about the structure, the shape, the balance, the development. Maybe some of them are gonna be a little bit more polished than the others, and that can grant them a couple of points, but I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be very well conditioned. If they are not, they will not be in that top five. So let's imagine they're all very well conditioned. Dexter Jackson can edge out William Bonek, but that's under the assumption that uh, William Bonek comes off because his coach is not in his corner, Neil Hill is no longer with him, so for that reason Dexter Jackson can beat him only on conditioning, because Dexter is known for being cut, for being dry as hell, but he's much smaller than Brandon Curry and uh, Rolly Winkler, so he will not be able to beat them, but I think William Bonek will take the third spot, I think he will be pretty much as conditioned as Dexter, probably a little bit less, but much bigger, much fuller, much more complete, much more developed. So I think uh, William Bonac will be third and not higher than that, because if Brandon and Rolly come conditioned, and I'm sure they will, they just have a way more superior structure than Bonac, and they're gonna beat him. So in the end of the evening, I'm pretty sure those two are gonna be the last man standing. Hey, anything is possible, anybody can win this show, anybody can place anywhere, but I just feel like it's gonna be between Brandon and Rolly. So if you're gonna compare these two guys, of course, you can take 2019 Mr. Olympia Rolly Winkler. Rolly Winkler was very well conditioned and he placed third, behind Sean Roden and Phil Heath. These two guys are not in the Mr. Olympia. So by that logic, Rolly Winkler should win the Mr. Olympia this year, right? And that's what we expected to happen at the Arnold Classic, but it didn't. He took 5th place, actually. 4 guys beat him. But we're not gonna take uh, 2019 Arnold Classic into consideration, or 2019 Arnold Classic Australia, because that was Rolly way, way off. He was completely off, it was horrible conditioning. I know that Rolly Winkler is gonna bring something much better, and it's gonna be at least as good as 2018 Mr. Olympia, probably better. Now, Brandon Curry, he was very good at the Arnold Classic 2019, where he took first place, where he won. He was really, really good, but I think we're gonna see a little bit improved version of Brandon Curry. How much improved can he be in such a short time span? Not much, not much, that's true, but I think he's gonna be a little bit bigger and a little bit more shredded, because he knows he can win the Mr. Olympia and the chances are in his favor. So he's gonna dial it down completely, he's gonna be ready. And the same thing goes with Rolly. So I think the most logical choice of their best editions would be Rolly Winkler 2018 Mr. Olympia versus Brandon Curry 2019 Arnold Classic. As you may have noticed, Brandon's side shots are definitely not gonna be a problem for him. 
he's very good, very dominant from the sides. He shows a lot of details, a lot of density, a lot of thickness, all of details, especially details. He's very, very conditioned. He has that dry skin. Not super matured muscle, not dry like Phil Heath, but very dry though. Much drier than Rowley. So from the sides, it's gonna be very good for Brandon. Rowley is gonna look maybe a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit bigger and wider, but not as detailed, not as conditioned. What I'm trying to say is that from the sides, you cannot notice Brandon's biggest weakness, and that's the mass of his legs. His legs are much smaller and not detailed enough. He gets conditioned, he gets polished. At the Arnold Classic 2019, compared to William Bonek, his legs maybe even looked better. Because William's legs, they were bigger, they were fuller and rounder, they had better shape, better sweep, bigger mass overall. But they weren't as polished. He wasn't at his 100%. Bonek was at his 95 or 90%. He was a little bit smooth. Just a little bit smoother than he should have been. And that's why he lost that trophy. That's why Brandon won it. So he was a little bit more polished. And his legs, even though they are much smaller, they seemed a little bit better because they showed more detail. So that's a good thing for Brandon. He can get very conditioned and he can show great details in his legs, which can make his legs look bigger than they are. Rolly Winkler, on the other hand, has huge quads, has very big legs. And when he's conditioned, he has a lot of great detail. I mean, his legs, his quads are not super detailed genetically. He doesn't have the best shape to them. The lines are not exactly ideal. But when he gets conditioned, those quads don't look bad at all. And they're huge. And they're gonna make Brandon's quads look much smaller than they are. So Rolly Winkler is going to expose Brandon. He's gonna expose him much better than William Bonac did. Much better, because he's much taller and much bigger. And if he comes conditioned, and I'm sure he will, his quads are gonna dominate over Brandon's quads. So from the front, you can, I mean, take a look at their upper bodies, and they're both great. They are both great in their upper bodies. I mean, they both have huge arms, huge shoulders, great chest, great stomach control, great abs, symmetrical abs, overall great symmetry and lines and everything. I mean, that's not a problem from the front, from the sides as well. But from the front, if you take a look at their quads, that's gonna be one huge difference. So, always gonna have much bigger quads. All right, let's turn them back around. Let's see their backsides. And you guys know that saying, that old saying in bodybuilding that says, shows are won from the back. And that especially goes for Mr. Olympia. Almost all Mr. Olympias had great backs, but no, that does not mean you're gonna win the Mr. Olympia if you have only back. No, you need to have a complete package, and if it is close, the guy with better back is usually going to win. That's all it means. If you are much worse from the front, you are gonna lose. I mean, it's all about completeness. It's all about uh, having the least amount of flaws. And uh, Rolly Winkler from the back. You guys might have thought that his quads and his glutes are his weakness. And they were, until 2018 Mr. Olympia, where he brought them. He was known for having horrible glutes and horrible hamstrings, but in 2018 Mr. Olympia, he got them conditioned. And we saw, we saw that it's not that bad. It's not that bad. His glutes looked fine, his hamstrings as well. His back though, that's the biggest issue, that's the biggest issue. Not in the front lat spread, he's wide as a house. He can spread that back and his upper back is very dominant. He only doesn't have great lower back details. But at this 2018 Mr. Olympia, he was very good. He was much improved. If you look at the transformation of Roy Winkler, from the past, I don't know, like, let's say 10 years, 5 years, he improved a lot from his back. His back, his lower back details really came up a lot. So he has been working very hard on that. And he improved his back quite a bit. So from the back, Rolly's lower body is going to be probably better than Brandon's. Brandon's hamstrings are never his strongest body part. His whole legs are just not big enough and not conditioned, not detailed enough. He can get conditioned and they look clean, but that separation, that deep separation that Kai Green has, that Phil Heath has, that Ronnie Coleman had, that Jay Cutler had, it's just not there. It's just not there. When it comes to roll, it's a little bit better. But if you're talking about upper body from the back, the very back, right? The lower back details especially, sure, Roll improved. He definitely improved a lot. Last year it looked really good. 
But is it better than Brandon's? Hell no. Hell no. Brandon's back is just world class. It's completely perfect back. What else could you want on this back? Yeah, it's pretty bold to say that something is perfect in bodybuilding, but I mean, he has spinal erectors, very dominant and very shredded. His whole back looks polished. Look at how shiny it is. It looks like marble. Literally like marble. It looks like it was carved out of stone, out of marble. Look at the separation between his traps and his lower back, the lats. Look at the rhomboids over there. Look at the lats, how they hang and how they separate. There is a line between spinal erectors and lats. And then another line separating traps and lats. It's perfect anatomy. It's perfect anatomy. And for that reason, Brandon has very big chances to win the Mr. Olympia because he has a bloody perfect back. What else could you add on this back? Nothing. It's not as grainy as Dorian's back was or as Ronnie's. It's not as massive as Ronnie's and as grainy as Ronnie's. But it's very good. It's very good. It's very complete. Not as good as it feels either but very very good back very complete back i can say perfect because i mean there are no flaws there are no visible flaws not as impressive as some other bags but very very good complete back so for that reason he has a very good chance to win the mr olympia but i mean you keep staring at his back as it is super impressive but then your view goes down you take a look at his poor legs his poor calves his poor hamstrings and overall leg mass and you get very disappointed. And it's the truth. His legs are very, very weak, very, very small. What good is a big back if you cannot match it with huge legs, if you have chicken legs? Let me say so. Rolly Winkler, on the other hand, has a little bit worse back, but his quads, his legs overall, are much bigger, much better than Brandon's. So, my conclusion based on all this would be if Rolly comes shredded, comes perfectly peeled, comes spot on, at his 100%, he is winning the Mr. Olympia. That's what I say. But Rolly is not known for being always in great conditioning. He is not very consistent. So for that reason, the chances of Brandon coming perfectly peeled and perfectly peaked are bigger. For that reason, I would bet on Brandon. But I'm telling you right now, if Rolly comes perfectly peeled and perfectly peaked, he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. But if I'm gonna bet on one of them, I would rather bet on Brandon because the chances of him improving even, not just coming perfect, are bigger. And that's the only reason. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video or if you agree or you disagree with me, tell me down below in the comment section. Tell me whatever you think. I'll make sure to read all the comments and I'll reply to the most interesting ones. If you enjoyed the video, once again, like it. And if you want to see more content like this, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button down below. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. All the best. Bye-bye.